Hi, this is Kylie Koo. Welcome to my studio. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make these cute little pocket journals. They're no sew journals and I'll make them in three easy steps. Our challenge this week in the Mixed Media Emporium is to make a gift, a gift of any sort. So I again wanted something that can be quite flat, easy to go into the post. So let's get started. So to make these journals, you will need paper of any description. It could be painted papers, it could be junk mail, uh, it could be patterned paper from a pad, some ribbon, twine, or something of that description to tie the journal, and you'll need a punch. It doesn't need to be a punch like this, just any standard punch. Scissors or a cutting board would be helpful, and a ruler might be helpful if you want to measure a bone folder to just put a crease in the papers or of course you could use the back of your scissors. I'll also be using some glue for a second version that I'll show towards the end of this video. So let's get started. Step one, I am just going to take a sheet of 12 by 12 paper and all I'm going to do is to cut this at four inches. Uh, so I will actually get quite a number of journals, journal covers out of this one piece of paper. So there you see cutting at four and at four again. And then what I'm going to do is to turn it the other way. And this time I'm going to cut at six. So I'm halving the paper this time. So I'm going to get six journal covers or six notebook covers out of this one 12 by 12 page. So once I've got my covers cut, I'm then just going to start tearing or cutting my papers to a size that will fit into the journal. So the journal cover, the notebook cover, opened out is six inches by four inches. So I'm just going to look at roughly what will fit and just tear or cut those. Then for step two, I've got all my papers laid out and all I'm going to do now is to fold them in half. For step three, I'm going to organise them into signatures, just putting in a variety of papers. Now you could put any sort of papers in these at all. You could use painted papers or you could just use one sort of note paper, anything at all. Just use what you have or you can make it a mini junk journal just by using uh, junk mail, old envelopes, anything of that sort. So I think for this, I think I end up putting around about seven folded papers in. Once I know what papers and the order that I'm going to put them in my little notebook, I'm just going to take my punch and I set this at about a centimetre, which I think is something like just over half an inch. I'm just going to use a small punch hole on this and I'm just going to make sure the papers are all kind of centred. If you want them centred, if they're different sizes, you know, you can arrange them that way. Most of mine's are more or less the same size, but I'll adjust them ever so slightly. It's sometimes worth just taking a, a moment or two just to get them all together like that. And if you were worried about them slipping, you could clip them in some way, put a paper clip on. But I'm just going to look for that centre line and punch through. Once there at the top and again once at the bottom. So that will give me two holes through which I will bind the journal. So at this point I am drying off my baker's twine which I managed to drop in my cup of coffee so I inadvertently coffee stained it and I'm just going to measure this out. My rough way of measuring it is to do twice the length and then 
four times the width and you'll see I add a bit extra in there. It ends up being close to three, three feet I think it is the length. That's only because I like to wrap it around twice. You wouldn't need to wrap it around twice so you know even two feet would do it. As always I just take a little bit of glue and add it to the top. If, if the thread's going to open up you know things like baker's twine, embroidery thread, uh, jute, anything of like that. They sometimes just kind of free at the edges a bit and I always find just a little bit of glue just turn it round a bit and that's usually enough that it dries pretty quickly and can put it through. So I'm going to take one end and put it through that top hole, pull it through a bit and then I'll take the other end and I'll push it through the bottom hole. And all I'm going to do now is to tie those together. I want to get them roughly the same length and I'll just put one and then two loops through that. And I just pull that. You want it fairly tight and then it will simply wrap around. Always takes me a minute or two to tie a bow, I don't know why. Always find it fiddly, but there we go. And that is basically how that journal is made. But I'm going to show you a second version using just a 6x6 six six piece of paper. But as I say, you could get six little booklets, or at least the cover anyway, from one sheet of 12 by 12. So here's an alternative version. So just showing you size-wise, it will be the same width, roughly. And all I'm going to do is to try and make it the same size lengthwise, and I'm just folding that up at the bottom. So no detailed measuring here of any sort. I'm going to Use the bone folder just to get that line in place. Now, what I'm going to do at this point is just to put a little notch in. So if you had a circle punch, you could take a little notch out just to show that this is going to be a little pocket. Now, you'll see at the end, perhaps what I should have done was to try and, and centre this. I didn't do that, so the little notch ends up being off centre. So. There's a learning lesson for next time. Then all I'm going to do is take a little bit of glue and put it down the sides. Just going to put a bit of paper under this because I don't want my clean table to, to get dirty. And just a little bit. And of course any little scraps of paper I will use in future for other journals. So nothing wasted. Just rub that in a little bit. just going to firm that down and I'm then just going to fold my cover in half. Then I will follow the exact same steps to bind it as I did with the other one. So I've just put this on at uh, extra fast speed because you saw me do this before. You can always slow it down using the little gear button. Make my signature, punch the holes and then I'll simply take this twice the length, four times the width, with a bit of extra. There I'm just showing you ex how much it is, so yeah, just over three feet. Slightly glue the ends again just to hold them together, then I'll feed them through and tie a knot. And that is a very simple three-step, no so mini or pocket notebook. So I have done a similar one to this in the past. I do it slightly different with different pockets inside and I'm going to leave a link to that just in case you would find that one helpful as well. I think these are great little gifts, especially if it's something you want to send through the post and not to incur a huge postal charge. Or if you've got a lot to send, then this is the type of little gift, also make a nice stocking filler. So if you're in the Mixed Media Emporium, I look forward to seeing what gifts you come up with this month, uh, this week I should say, and uh, 
I will leave a link to the Mixed Media Emporium below and of course I'll leave a link to Nina's video below as well. So do hope you've enjoyed this and as always I look forward to seeing you another time. So take care, bye for now.